starting. We need to rotate around the point 5 comma 10. We found one of our points at 10 comma 15. And I'm going to make this shape a little bit darker so it's easier to see. Going a little heavier on the paper. A sharpie or a pen or a marker is also a good way to go. Okay, there's our shape. First thing you're going to do is you're going to take another piece of grid paper. You're going to take another piece of grid paper and you're going to mate it up with the grid paper underneath it. Oh, one thing that I did not do is make this extra dark so it's easy to see through. I'm going to um, make sure that my grids overlap as closely as I can. And I can see through here that here are my points. So I'm looking through my thin piece of, some people call it tracing paper, my thin piece of graph paper, and I am just going to trace that out. I also need to find my point that I'm rotating around. Then I'm going to grab a sharp pencil or something like that. And I'm going to use that sharp pencil to rotate my shape. And I just moved it. I'll have to get it back. Let me put it exactly where it was. Right there and right there. Okay, so you're going to take a sharp point. Now, what am I rotating this for? Let's go with 90 degrees counterclockwise. Okay? So, I'm going 90 degrees counterclockwise. I'm going to take my pencil or my pen and I am going to put it on the point at which I am turning around. Right here. And I am going to take my sheet of tracing paper and I am going to rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise, which means the opposite direction that the clock would travel. Okay, and now my new shape should be right under these dots right here. And sometimes I'll do it like this. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll make sure that my paper stays in the right spot and I will make my new dot there and there and there and there and just keep going around and then draw in my shape. And now, to test, to test, what I'm going to do is I'm going to count up and over from this shape. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I should be able to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I end up with the same point. This point became over here. I could do the same thing for this shape. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to go 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And so this shape is a 90 degrees counterclockwise rotation around 5, 10.